and the body, mm -hmm. sitting at the toilet, and the next one is sitting over there, and this is the way also could be easily transferred. Okay. Or you can get even when people go in for the public swimming pools in hotels, and then very mm -hmm. easily they can, they can come, come, come back when, when they have this, this, this trash okay. to have it. Okay. So if I always recommend when uh, um, the, the towel should be really washed with warm water. The only way you can get rid of them is, is the hot water. Hot water. If they wash it, they wash it with them, especially with the babies. When they, when How about the bleach? The bleach liquid? The, the, the little bit of bleach, mm -hmm. but definitely it would be in warm, warm water and hot water to okay. wash it. That is the way they can, they can get rid of them. If they don't do it with cold water, hang it and use it again, they are still there. Because they love this um, environment of warm and wet. Mm -hmm. And to be always transferred to, to, to each other. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we're still talking about um, thrush. Okay. Sometimes um, it comes and go back. You know, you know, as women, you experience it once in a while. It will come and go back. W in case you have this, are there other um, um, tablets or medications yeah. that you can take? As, as I mentioned to you, the very first thing is take care of yourself at home. At home. That's the first step. Yeah. The uh, hygiene is, 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 is the magic word. Okay. You know, that they can reduce it. But if they have start having symptoms, mm -hmm. obviously then this is the time they should go and seek help. Mm -hmm. And if they come to the clinic, we examine them. Mm -hmm. And then we identify and diagnose it is the kind and of And sometimes it can be extremely serious. Oh, it, it, because in any disease we have got a kind of mild, moderate and severe. Severe ones, yeah. If you, if you wait too long with any disease, you end up with a severe one. Mm -hmm. That's what you said. The symptoms are very obvious, mm -hmm. very disturbing obvious. Like yes. by, by women, they have got a lot of discharging of water and, and, and smelling. Mm -hmm. So for that, when we diagnose this with, with the other the thrush, thrush or the fungal infection or the yet, so then there is a treatment is available. Mm -hmm. The treatment is the best thing is to start with those part of the body which uh, are, are itching, mm -hmm. even then the genital, mm -hmm. they can use the, the antifungal cream. Antifungal cream. How about somebody in the remote village over there who doesn't have that? Actually, this antifungal cream is, is quite available in, 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 in even in the, any the health basic center? medicine because it's a is one of the commonest diseases in Africa. Mm -hmm. So they, they always be provided with, with the antifungal cream. Even they have got a small uh, pharmacy in the villages. Mm. They sell this. Cream. Okay. 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 There's also tablet they can take in orally, which orally? is an antifungal, we kind of flagell tablet mm -hmm. that they can take it. Mm -hmm. And also if it goes to the genital part, mm -hmm. then also there are tablets they can use it inserted. And inserted. Okay. And one thing I would, uh, I always recommend not to do is not to have an internal washing. Because by internal washing by women, mm -hmm. that actually activate activi these, 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 these germs. Mm. And not only these germs at, th at their own, but they just open the door for any other bacteria mm. and, uh, and then herpes to go and join them. And that is what you're talking about, the severe uh, symptoms. That is definitely is not only fungal Some infection. Some women will tell you if they have to go to the bathroom, they, should ta they will take um, warm water to clean up. And uh, I, I would, I would, he extremely <laughs> and, uh, recommend ever, ever do this, this, this. Warm habit. water. Because inside these whole organs we have, even in the mouth, in, in, in any other, like in the bowel, they are, God has given us a healthy flora, mm. there's healthy bacteria. These bacteria, they will actually kill those bacteria coming from outside. Mm. So if you okay. wash it, on, and, and, and you, uh, uh, then you, you do what? you kill uh, these natural bacteria. Mm. So they're, they're making the, there is a fantastic place for the, for the bacteria, incoming bacteria, into to our invade. body yeah. and to inflame. So that's how we should, should, should definitely stop. And it's not only that. After the, for the long time, if they use it, then they make them infertile. Because this infection in that uh, genital organs, they can, they can also move into the womb, they can move into the fallopian tube. And this is one many cases they come the cause for infertility is actually one of the causes is that is this habit of having this, this kind of, of the internal washing. So okay. that if they have any symptoms, I think the best thing is, is then, 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 then even they can go to any nurse. Mm -hmm. This is so common. Every nurse will recognize it. Mm -hmm. When they recognize it as a fungal infection, mm -hmm. they can give them the, the uh, necessary treatment and then uh, that will be okay. But as I said, please, I would like you to, you to emphasize self 
care at home. Home, okay. Okay, doctor, I would like you to clarify, is there any difference between thrush and a sexually transmitted disease or infection? The, uh, the thrush actually can about 70, 75 percent, Because somebody who is just um, maybe 10 years or 11 years is not um, sexually active can have thrush. So is it a sexually transmitted disease or it's just another infection on its own? And children, mm -hmm. it's not direct sexually transmitted disease. Exactly, okay. That's, this is that we, we just demonstrated. Mm -hmm. If the children... Yes, they can get it from our can, towels, they underwears, they and... They can, they can share sharing and then sharing just this item we just... Underwears, mm -hmm. and, and one thing I always have to tell to my patients, to the mothers, do not advise your children to do this internal washing. Mm. They started many, uh, sometimes, when they come to the clinic, then you have to not only treat the mother, you have to treat other... When you say internal washing, can you just elaborate on that? I don't understand. <laughs> you use other chemicals or you or use other liquids? Internal, or? In, okay, it's to wash in inside the vagina. Okay. That, uh, that's just what I'm talking about. Yes, and but like actually, you have to use something, another chemical or just natural water? That's what I want I to understand. I hope you're taking back what you just said. They don't have to <laughs> take any chemical whatsoever. Uh -huh. Even the poor water. You know the water contaminates millions of bacteria. The uh -huh. water and the tap water and, and they're using. And then this is the place I told you that. Because that in whole uh, organs, they are warm and wet. Mm -hmm. So, when when so how should you wash it? You should never, ever, mm -hmm. I repeat again, mm -hmm. never, ever anybody wash inside the vagina meat, anything whatsoever. Mm. Because let those natural, God-given bacteria mm -hmm. be in the vagina mm -hmm. so that they can incoming bacteria from, from because vagina is open, they can get it from anywhere. Okay. So then they can actually help you to kill them. You wash them with anything. Okay. You kill them and then you just make it a good place for the bacteria to come and then to give this, uh, the, these terrible infections. Okay. And this, when they have infected the woman, when they infected, they can also pass it down to the, to the husband. Mm -hmm. And with the husband, they can also transfer it to the, to the mother. Mm -hmm. And when they are pregnant, this is why all they this can advice, also transfer it to the make baby. sure they before the baby. delivery of the baby, that make sure that there is no thrush, there is no fungal infection in the vagina, because as I explained to you, mm -hmm. that can be transferred to the, to to the, the baby with and um, sore eyes, and then you know. And it takes a long time, time to when, treat the, it. when the red eyes come in and then on mouth they come. It's a long, because these germs, it takes a long time to treat. Mm -hmm. It's not just giving up an antibiotic, they, they only respond to antifungal treatment. Okay. And antifungal treatment takes a longer time as an bacteri anti bacterial antibiotic. Okay, doctor, so can you just wrap up quickly? What's yes. your final advice? My final advice to again, women in again, general. Please, everyone in the family, mm -hmm. they should uh, take care of themselves and as a self care and then having washed at least uh, twice. A day. Twice a day. And anytime they have sweating even too much, they can do an additional washing to them. Okay. And this is one. The second, as we discuss here, please never share underwears, male and female. Mm -hmm. Please never share the toothbrushes with each other. Mm -hmm. And also in particular, don't ever share your towel with any member of your family. Okay. And, uh, and, and you just I mentioned that uh, as a woman, you can have two, one. Definitely, even the men, the, the men and, and women, the they should have one for the body and definitely for them from the genitals. Okay. And, and, and it's recommended that those these towels and the underwear rather to be washed with warm water, water. And, and you mentioned a bit of bleach, mm -hmm. so that this is the only way you can get rid of these, uh, uh, you know, uh, infections mm -hmm. and they cannot be transferred. And if you have any, any these kind of problems, obviously you have to seek advice, go into the nurse or the clinic. Or the nearest health treatment facility. Treatment is available. Mm -hmm. and, and as I said, the most women, most women suffering from infertility, hopefully when we discuss about infertility in another discussion. In another edition. This is one of the courses we have in the clinic. I give you one example. When the patient come into any of us, I'm not the only gynecologist, mm -hmm. they, we advise them, stop this habit of washing inside, mm -hmm. okay? And then uh, you will see how soon you can get pregnant. And we have cases of seven years of, of infertility. By stopping this habit, and we give them some, some treatment, three months later they are pregnant.
Wow, so bravo. This is something we will discuss <laughs> in another edition. In another we'll edition, we'll talk about infertility that. Infertility. And infertility. the cause of infertility and how to do the infertility. Okay, that's it for the health segment. And thank you, Dr. Azadeh, My pleasure. senior lecturer at the University of the Gambia thank and you. also consultant in gynecology. Thank you. Once again, thank you. Thank you.